Hello, friends. Welcome back to the vlog. I am feeling, <clears throat> of course, right in this moment, I don't sound great, but I'm feeling rejuvenated this week. And spring is coming. It's actually a little chilly today, but hold on one second. I gotta show you guys. Look at this skin burn now. He seriously sleeps like this every day, whether he works or not. He snores like a whale, and he has to sleep this hard every day. It's just hilarious to me. Anyways, um, I'm feeling better today, and I'm hoping to get to some of my spring organization. Oh, so grumpy. I, I just wanna get things reorganized. I am notorious for kind of letting things get out of control. I feel like one of the biggest reasons that I am not organized when it comes, especially to my like grooming supplies, is that I've never been able to find a grooming box or like bag tote that I like. And so I'm on the hunt if you guys have any suggestions. But anyways, I, um, I'm getting Rexy and Doppler ready to ride this morning. Uh, I waited a little bit later than normal since it's a little bit chilly, but we're gonna get them ridden this morning. They are both doing a beam reception first, and then I am hoping to stretch them after. And then today, like I said, I'm hoping to kind of make some lists of what kind of grooming supplies I have, what I need for the season, and <clears throat> make sure I'm stocked up on all my essentials as we come into grooming season. I kind of get away with not grooming much during the winter because all of our horses are in blankets. So as soon as the blankets start to come off and the mud is here is usually when I'm like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it's time to stock up on everything. That was a lot of rambling. I've noticed that I've gotten a little bit bad at rambling on, so I apologize. I'm gonna finish mucking this stall. And then I have to get Rex and Doppler finished to be murdered and then ride them. We'll do some stretching afterwards. I finally brought carrots today to do their carrot stretches. And uh, we'll go from there. But I'm feeling revitalized today, so I'm hoping that I'll be a little more interesting on the vlog. <laughs> When I clean and organize my brushes, I just scrub them with Dawn dish soap and rinse them really good and then let them out to, and then leave them out to air dry. On the note of feeling rejuvenated and spring cleaning and everything, I also desperately need to start to get some manes and tails in order. And I ordered some new smart grooming tools that I'm hoping to uh, put to good use today as well. Well, it may not be today. I get so excited to do spring cleaning and spring cleanups so and then I can't get to everything in one day. Cause I'm only one person. Who, who knew? So while I have shelving and box space, one, these things unfortunately get wet because they're in the grooming wash stall. People can't just spray a horse with water. People are notorious for spraying water all over the walls and everything. So not only are products on these shelves and sometimes in the boxes prone to getting wet, but there are also on top of that free game to all the clients in their mind. So. I, am, I try not to leave my personal products out. As you see, sometimes I accidentally do just because I'm grooming horse after horse and the day is like chaotic. But everyone has these little grooming boxes by their stalls and I am notorious for not using mine, but I'm gonna try to be better at it. So this is my pretty empty box and I'm gonna put some stuff in it. The annoying part is these boxes are just too short 
for spray bottles, which half my products are in, so that's slightly annoying. <clears throat> which is why I kind of want like a grooming box or bag that I could potentially put under my box. Daffy, don't look so irritated. But usually I just put them in sideways like that for now. Fun fact. This is a product that one of my clients gave me as a hand-me-down and I used it the other day and I really liked it. It smelled great and really moisturized the skin post-clipping. If you have a horse that notoriously has a little bit irritated skin after clipping, I really liked this product. This company makes good stuff. Anyways, I'm going to put a hold on this organizing endeavor that I'm doing today because I need to finish getting Rex and Dot prepped. So. <clears throat> we'll get back to this excitement soon. <laughs> I apologize in advance when this vlog has absolutely zero organization and I'm just all over the place because I feel like I've had so much caffeine this morning. I'm like a little space cadet like all over the place. So when there's no sane storyline to this vlog, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go ride with my boss now and then uh, we will get back to this vlog that's jumping all over the place. He felt pretty good today post hawk injections, so that's good. I'm uh, letting him finish his lunch and then we will stretch him out. I also don't think I mentioned, but most of my excitement for wanting to stock up on my stuff for the season is that entries for our first USCA combined test of the season open today. If you guys have been with me on the vlog for a while, then you've seen me go to the Riga Meadow combined test. That's typically always our season opener as uh, there isn't a whole lot here until like June, July, full event wise due to the mud and the rain and the snow. So uh, there is a combined test. It's the first weekend of May and that's pretty exciting to get to go to. It's also like not super far away from us. It's in the Millbrook area. So I am currently starting my list of things that are important to have in my show trunk and what I need to replenish stock of, which is just kind of one of the other organization tasks I wanted to do today. So this is our designated trailer trunk. It's clearly a mess right now and not organized whatsoever. Typically I keep a first aid kit and clean brushes and all of the supplies that I'm gonna need uh, potentially at a horse show and stuff like that so I'm just gonna spend some time going through this making note of what I have uh, honestly I want to spend a vlog at some point soon rebuilding slash building my own first aid kit just because I feel like mine are all kind of missing things at this point so that'll be something I'd love to do in the future too um, there are some other things in a, like, grooming box. Actually, we should go see if we can find that. I would say the things I need to order are, like, liniment, poultice, poultice paper. Uh, I need to order more pink stuff. Uh, so are no more. Hoof packing. Uh, I'm not a huge Shoshin person, but I'm not saying I don't ever use it. Uh, sometimes if I feel like I have a furrier than normal horse, I might spritz it on at the end, but I feel like the pink stuff does a good job of keeping their coat nice and clean. So far today, I feel like I'm just making a giant mess and I haven't accomplished a whole lot, but what's new? Well, I would say it's safe to say we don't need to stock up on coat defense or a witch hazel. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, I'm gonna sit down and get to some ordering tonight. I know that Riding Warehouse has a really good price on Magic Cushion. Oh, don't be silly. We're gonna do stretching and snacks. My scatterbrain today is already getting a little behind schedule because I still have to lunge Richie. So I'm gonna stretch and massage Doppler and then I have to get to Richie so that'll probably wrap up the vlog for today. And I will I know, make sure to fill you guys in on more organization and we will 100% be doing a vlog about what's in my grooming box and restocking my show trunk. Are you eating my hair? So, let's get to stretching and then that'll pretty much wrap up for today. I'll see you guys later this week.